Hi, everyone. Um, good to see you all here. Um, thanks for your time. So my name is Oren. I'm a co-founder of PAVE. And this is Catherine, our head of business development. I thought we'd start um, by actually playing, um, playing a video to introduce the concept, who we are, and, and what we do. So. Talent can only take you so far. The people who really make it are people who work hard. And if you really put your mind to something, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. I've always been interested in discovering truth, telling people's stories, and influencing change. Journalism is the first draft of history. I want to be an influential figure in changing finance for the better. And I want to contribute back to society by establishing a nonprofit organization for children in Ukraine and counseling services in schools. I have wanted to make movies since I was seven. If I do my job today, it means I moved a step forward in trying to get something made that will eventually be projected and eventually seen and maybe even beloved by someone. I want to be audacious with my cinema. I want to reach a lot of people. I have all these things I want to do. I have these places I want to see, these things I want to report on. And right now, I can't do those things because I don't have someone backing me. I don't have capital. I don't have the opportunity to do what I want to do. I want to prove to the world that I can do this. And I know that I'm going to need help. It's not just financially. I think everybody needs people who believe in them. Every director in history, they all at one point had someone reach their hand out to them. We need each other. Who knows what I can do as I keep moving forward in my career. If I had someone behind me, I would be unstoppable. To know that there are people out there who are invested in me, who saw something in me, I think that could be the turning point. Um, we created PAVE as a way to democratize access to funding for people starting their careers, ages 20 to 35 in general. Um, the way that we, um, the, the issue we saw that a lot of people starting their careers had limited access to capital. And um, traditionally, there were kind of three options, either take a, take a credit card debt starting your career um, at pretty high punitive uh, rates, or start a company or start a project now on Kickstarter. And we thought, why aren't there other sources of capital available um, from actual real people looking to invest in, those, in, in young careers? So what we've created is an affinity-based investment platform where older successful people and institutions now can actually invest in people directly in their future earnings in a very novel way. And what we came up with was what we call a um, IPA, an income link payment agreement, where you can actually now go onto pave.com and fund people that you care about in, in your field, in a profession that you have some sort of affinity with, um, and invest in their future earnings. So in exchange for receiving funding, instead of making interest payments, these people actually make payments linked to their future potential. So actually based on what they actually earn. And the use of funds tends to be three things, either further education. So rather than taking on student debt or taking on a credit card uh, to pay for that education, they actually can get funding from real individuals. The other use case has been to pursue a business opportunity where instead of actually, um, let's say they don't have the business plan in, case, in place yet to actually raise funding for the, a, a company, they can actually use the money for living expenses whilst they come up with that business plan. And we've seen a lot of people use the money from PAVE to actually refinance, restructure student debt. So instead of having to make those fixed payments every month, they're into a payment structure that actually varies according to their future income. Um, we're going to talk you through quickly a success story that we've had of one of the 54 people we funded on the site so far, and uh, Catherine's going to walk through that. Sure, just to give you uh, an example of why someone would come to PAVE and the type of success they can have as a result, we have David Krevit. He was an associate at BlackRock when he had a great idea for an app, a mobile app, 
where you could actually broadcast to your friends, colleagues, that you were not going to be available. You were away from your phone so that you weren't going to be able to respond. In order to actually bring this idea from, take this idea from into a business and really pursue it, he needed to focus on it full time. So he came to PAVE and raised $20,000 from six individuals so that he could fund his living, he was able to live for six months to really build out this idea. Uh, and he's already had great success and a lot of great coverage from different media outlets and is in talks with a number of corporations who are looking to use this app for their own employees. So that was one example of why someone would come to PAVE because his only other alternative was really credit card debt, which we all know has extremely costly rates and this was enabled him to get the funding up front and share, in, uh, share the, his success with the people that invested in him. So in David's case, he built, I think it was $20,000 he raised, six backers. The backers not only get to impact an individual's life and career, but they actually get a very unique financial return. And by investing in future income, you actually get a exposure to real returns, which is obviously unique and pretty much unique in the financial markets. If you looked at investment in earnings historically as an asset class, it's actually a very stable asset class. Um, volatility is pretty low, so the risk return profile for, this, for investing in IPAs is, is actually very compelling. We're going to take you through now the two ways to invest on the platform, which is either through groups or an individual. Um, and the groups, we call them affinity groups. So we're going to do a live demo, hopefully technology permitting again. <laughs> So I've registered already, obviously. Please all register on the site. Um, and if you look at the affinity groups we have live now, we have coders, um, which are people taking three-month intensive boot camp courses, normally around twelve to $15,000 in cost, transformative in earning. You go in, never coded, you come out earning sixty to $70,000. Um, we have a group of Columbia graduates. We have women entrepreneurs. And we also have uh, some rising stars that was actually crowdsourced in New York. So we ran a competition, people to nominate all their, you know, people they thought were very talented for investment. So if I look at uh, the Coda group, for example, what we have here is a group of individuals. No, we have an advert. Okay, so we have a group of individuals um, all looking to take these courses. And um, if we look at the, go to the financial details, it gives us, we've also broken down the portfolio characteristics. So what we do at PAVE is we have a model that predicts what anyone will earn um, in their given field based on location, age, and a host of other factors. This shows a blended return if you were to invest in the portfolio in three different scenarios. Obviously, each affinity group that you invest in has different uh, you know, standard deviations, has a different risk return type of profile. For the coders, we're seeing that we're projecting a 7% return. So to quickly invest in one coder, um, if we look at the example of Tatiana, good example, she needs $24,000, combination of living expenses and to pay for school. Her funding rate is $3,000 per 1%. So if you actually click the financial details, again, it shows you all the details and you can understand what she's likely to return to the backers. In her case, she just needs to earn, I think, around $40,000 for backers to get their money back. Um, so finally, you know, what's next for PAVE? We've seen huge demand for people looking for funding. Because of the novelty of the product that we've brought into the world, this income link payment agreement, we haven't been able to fund as many people as we'd like. We've had over 8,000 applicants for funding in the last 12 months with very little marketing. And most of the time we're seeing from backers that whilst they love the concept high level, they need time to actually get involved and fund. Same for institutions who want to see obviously more performance data. So excited to announce that we're launching a shorter term loan-based product, probably a three to five year maturity, and happy to talk to anyone interested in participating in the pilot that we're going to run. And that's mainly focused on a lot of these people taking vocational and professional skills courses as a result of many of our partnerships with like General Assembly and, uh, and Dev Bootcamp and, and other types of you know, vocational training courses, even, even pilots. So thank you all for your time and look forward to speaking to you afterwards.